What's up guys? Hey, Jared Beckstrand here, doctor of physical therapy, tonatitan.com, coming at you today with five of my favorite tips to help you to get your best night's sleep ever. Uh, this one's going to be especially relevant for those of you who might be experiencing back or neck pain. Let's get to it right now. All right, you guys. Hey, thanks so much for joining me today on Tone and Titan. Uh, just a quick plug, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already for more content like this, I hope you take the chance to do that. You can hit a, that subscribe button down below. Also, if you find the information that I share in this video helpful, uh, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments while you're watching this video, leave those down below and I'll get to those just as soon as I can as well. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, five of my favorite tips to help you to the best night's sleep ever. Um, as a doctor of physical therapy, this is a question that I get asked a lot is, you know, what is the best sleep posture? What's the best sleep position? How can I wake up in the morning without my neck or my back hurting? So I wanted to share some of those tips with you guys today. And so tip number one, the best sleep position for you is the one that you find the most comfortable, but then also that holds your spine in as neutral a position as possible. Now when I talk about neutral spine, here's my spine model right here. You've got three major curves that we're worried about it, or that we're worried about. Right now you're looking at it a lateral view from the side, he's looking that way. And so you'll see that you've got one curve here in your lower back, one curve in kind of your middle back, and then this is your neck right here, kind of curves back this way. You'll see that if I turn him around, so now he's looking that way, you're staring straight at his back, we're nice and straight right here. So we've got curves this way, but we're nice and straight this way. The best um, the best sleep position, the best sleep posture for you is going to be whatever holds your spine in this neutral spine position. So you'll see we need a little support here, we need a little support here, and we need something that's going to keep it straight this way. The other thing that I'll mention is that we don't want anything that rotates it in this position either. Um, big for stomach sleepers especially. And so that's tip number one. Whatever that is the most comfortable and whatever can hold your spine in that neutral position, that's what I'm going to recommend. Tip number two is to get into that correct sleeping posture, you have to have the right amount of support. So speaking specifically of your mattress and your pillow in this case. And so with mattresses, you're supposed to replace your mattress every eight to ten years. If you haven't done so in the last decade, it might be time to look into that. Mattresses do wear out, they lose their ability to support your body, especially you know the technology these days behind mattresses has improved a lot in the last 10 years and so you might consider uh, looking into that you might consider getting a new mattress um, the other thing is your pillow you want a pillow that again is going to support that neutral spine position you don't want it to be well depending on your sleep posture whether you sleep on your back or whether you sleep on your stomach or whether you sleep on your side you want a pillow that's going to support your spine in that neutral position and so I'm gonna run you through a couple of those tips and tricks today um, now let's get into my, my last three tips have to deal specifically with different sleeping postures And so I'm gonna go get my wife She's gonna demonstrate some of these for you while I talk you through these remaining three tips All right, so once again, I've brought in my lovely assistant you guys know my wife all too well <laughs> If you've watched any of my other YouTube videos, you're such a good sport. You don't pay me enough I really don't it's true. Okay, so let's get into the, these remaining three tips. The first thing I'm gonna have Camille do is lay down on her stomach. So we'll get some of these pillows out of the way. I am the stomach sleeper. I know, you're the worst. And so my tip for those of you who lay on your stomach to sleep is stop doing it immediately. <laughs> Um, anatomically speaking, this is the worst posture. This is the worst <laughs> position that you can sleep in throughout the night. Camille, she'll always fall asleep on her side, but she always wakes up <laughs> on her stomach. And it hurts right now, even. And the reasons why I hate this is because there's no way to get into that neutral spine position on your stomach. First of all, when we talk about her, her neck, you have to breathe, believe it or not. When you're asleep, you have to breathe. So in order to do that, you've got to turn your neck either one way or the other. So you're sleeping all night in this rotated position. The other thing that I hate about this is a lot of times your stomach isn't very well supported, so it kind of sags into the bed, creating this excessive bow in your back. If you wake up with a tight or a pinched back and you sleep on your stomach, that's the reason why. Finally, the last thing I hate about this is it puts a lot of pressure on your internal organs. Uh, weight on your lungs affects breathing. Weight on your guts affects digestion, things like that. Basically, tip number three, you guys, 
don't sleep on your stomach. Let's get into a little bit better posture. I'm gonna have her roll over onto her right side and let's talk about sleeping on your side for a second. Again, the goal is to achieve as neutral a spine position as you can. Let's look at the three areas that are going to affect that. So specifically her neck, her, her, her back, her torso, and then what's happening down here at her hips. First of all, with her neck, let's say that her pillow is too full. I'm gonna double that one up. And you can see what that does to her neck. All of a sudden her head is way too high and it creates this crick in her neck. Conversely, I stole my daughter. This is my youngest daughter's pillow. This is like the flattest pillow you guys have ever seen in your life. If she's sleeping on a pillow that's too flat, you see that her head is dropping down too far. We've got that crick in her neck again. So the right pillow for you is going to be the one that again maintains your neck in more of a neutral spine position. Now, I went and got this one on purpose, you guys. This one's actually my pillow. It's one that I found, it's, you can get it on Amazon. What I'll do is I'll leave the link in the description to this video to this pillow. I actually love this pillow just because, you can go ahead and, uh, well, are you comfortable? She's gonna fall asleep. <laughs> just because this pillow is actually customizable. I can actually unzip it right here. It's got a liner on the inside as well. And it's actually filled up with shredded memory foam. And it came with additional memory foam. And so you can actually put more stuffing into it or take the stuffing out of it depending on what your, your posture needs are. If you've got a, a smaller frame, then you might need less stuffing. If you've got a bigger frame, you might need more stuffing. And then depending on if you're a, a side sleeper or a back sleeper, same thing applies. You might, might need more or less. So the sole reason that I like this pillow, not sponsored or anything by, by this company, the sole reason I like this pillow is because you can customize it. You can, you can fill it up or you can kind of flatten it out depending on your needs. And so when you're sleeping on your side, that's the first thing that I'm worried about. The next thing I'm worried about is right here. A lot of times when you sleep on your side, again, depending on the support you get from your mattress, your, your back, your lower back can be shrinking, kind of falling down into the mattress if you don't have that support there. So what you can do is I'm gonna take my flattest pillow that I have and I'm actually gonna sneak that under your side, babe. There you go, just like that. And all of a sudden now, we have a little more support. Again, her shoulders and her hips are a little wider. And so if we need more support, I said that totally wrong. Shoulders and hips are wider than her torso. Let's put it that way. And so if she needs a little more support under her back, that's how we're gonna achieve it. Um, you can actually get pillows that are designed specifically for this purpose to be put under your torso for side sleepers to maintain that neutral position. Again, check out the link that I've got in the description to this video for that. Okay, spot number three that we're worried about is right down here. A lot of times when we sleep on our sides, if your knees are pressed together it puts a lot of pressure on your knee joint but then also this top leg as it falls down towards the table pulls through the hip and that in turn can pull through the lower back and so a lot of times to sleep on your side like this isn't very comfortable and so what we do I should have one more pillow around here somewhere what we're gonna do is get one more pillow and put that one right between her knees. And so now, between those three things, the proper support here, the proper support here, and the proper support here, I've got her back in that nice, you know, totally neutral position. So those are some things that you can play around with to kind of find what might work for you. It might be one of these things, it might be all three of these things. Play with it until you find, again, that sweet spot for your specific needs. Okay, let's get rid of these two, and then I'm gonna have you roll over onto your back. Okay. Okay, when we talk about sleeping on our back, I mean, nothing changes with our objectives. We want to maintain that neutral spine position. And so you'll see that with this pillow that she's got, this one's actually too full. And so she's she's got her neck kind of in this forward flexed position because there's too much stuffing in that pillow. Conversely, I'm gonna give this teeny tiny flat pillow again. If we put that one under her neck, it's, it's maybe a little bit better position, but the fact that I don't like is that there's no support directly under her neck. She's kind of in this extended position <laughs> 
that's going to create this crick in her neck if she stays there all night. So what we would need to do is probably something kind of between this and that where her neck is supported but it's in a neutral position. It's not pushed too far forward and it's not falling too far backwards. And so again, based on your unique individual needs, that's the first place that I'll typically look when we talk about, you know, back pain or neck pain from sleeping on my back. Um, the last thing that I like to look at with this is again, what's going on in her lower back. Right now, she's in what we would call an anterior pelvic tilt posture just because her legs are out totally flat. Your hip flexors, you've got one muscle in particular, it's called your psoas major, it's a hip flexor that attaches from the front of your hip to the small of your back. If that one's tight, and if your legs are extended out straight, what that's gonna do is rock your hips forward, creating a big space here in your lower back. Now, sleeping like that all night long can be uncomfortable, can cause pain in your lower back. And so how we fix that is we've gotta unlock that psoas, and we do that by her flexing her knees. Now, just her doing that, again, has alleviated that pressure on her hip flexor, taken the tension out of her back. Now, all of a sudden, her back is in this nice, more neutral position. Again, we want there to be a little bit of an arch there, but not a lot of arch there. In order to support that, what I'll typically tell people is grab one or two pillows, kind of put those right under your knees. Now, as she lays out flat, that takes a lot of that pressure, again, off of the hips and off of the back. When we combine that with the right pillow, those are the, th those are the things that I look at when, when we rec make those recommendations for those of you who might sleep on your back. Okay, you guys, and so that's about it. So those are all the tips that I've got for you. Again, we talked about uh, posture and position. We talked about the proper support with pillows and with mattresses, and then gave you kind of some tips and advice that you can hopefully use depending on which posture you like to sleep in. Hopefully it's not on your stomach. We're gonna get rid of that one. But if you sleep on your side or on your back, these are some things that are gonna help to alleviate the stress on your joints, alleviate the stress on your muscles, hopefully get, help you to get a better night's sleep and then also not wake up in as much pain in the morning. And so if you guys found this helpful, do, uh, do me a big favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. Also subscribe to Tone and Titan if you haven't done so already. If you have questions or comments, leave those down below and I'll get to those as soon as I can. You might hit that share button down there to share this video with someone that you care about. And until next time, you guys, we'll see you right back here on Tone and Titan.